than ba you know bake a, a box cake. You know, can't even follow directions on the back of the box. Okay, so we're gonna wait until these get down. Talk to me, y'all, because this is live. You know, this is not like edited. And YouTube, I'm not editing it for you either. You're just gonna watch it in its raw form. I'm gonna be cool and everything. But I ain't got time to edit these videos. Alright, so while that's going, y'all, guess what I'm gonna do? Because I'm a what? I'm a multitasker. I'm gonna wash these darn dishes. Yes, I still wash dishes, y'all. Yes, your girl still washes dishes. Nothing like getting your hands all nice and dry. So what are you guys doing today? Talk to me while my apples are cooking up. Cakes and pies? I know that's right. If you're brand new, please put up a number 81. 81. Thanks for watching me today keeping me company while I cook. So those apples are just nice and browning up up in there. Getting some work done while we... Who in here likes to multitask? I shouldn't say likes to multitask. Who's in here who knows how to multitask? Put up a number 77. Because they say multitasking ain't good, but... uh. What am I supposed to do? Just one thing at a time? I, I can't do that. But while that's in there, I'm in here just washing dishes. If you on YouTube, I guess you could fast forward this part. <laughs> I guess. I don't know. You may want to hear my commentary, you know. So what got me into this lifestyle? Ooh, anybody who follows me knows what got me into this lifestyle. Um, just me being a diabetic and having high blood pressure and having a whole bunch of problems, you know, helped me get into trying to do things naturally. Okay, let me stop and see what Miss. Gemini says. She says she's off today, about to make some beans and rice and try some chicken. Gotta clean as I cook. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, so thank you for watching me while you're doing that. Um, yeah, I'm just a person who likes to just try my best to live healthy as I can. And it's not easy, guys. It really isn't. Let me see how this is. Ooh, they're starting to smell so good. You got They're not going to really caramelize until I get that brown sugar in there. So I'm going to wait until they get a little more softer before I just, I, you know, because I don't want to waste products. And I don't want to burn. Because um, you know sugar burns. So I'm going to wait a few more minutes before I start putting my sugar and, and stuff in there, okay? But I'm noticing that like when I go out to eat, it's not a lot of stuff healthy out, unfortunately. I think there should be a little more healthier choices out there for fast food. What do you think? If you agree, put up a number 88. Because that was the year I think I turned diabetic. Okay, so.
are watching, please make sure you hit that like button. Just hit the like button. Make sure you tap the same and subscribe to my YouTube channel as well, if you haven't already. All right, so let's check back on here. Oh, these are nice. Okay, okay, okay. I don't want it too mushy. All right, so I'm about to put some brown sugar on here. Um, what this miss? I don't like eating out because I still be hungry. Yeah. I don't like eating out because it doesn't make me feel good, you know? All right, guys, because I'm making this on live video, I'm going to actually try my best to give you some measurements. You know, a cook really doesn't measure. I kind of already know what I'm going to do. But I'm going to give y'all that respect to measure this. All right, so I'm going to put this much brown sugar in. I don't know what that is. I, I, I just don't. I don't know how much this is. But I'm going to put it in there, okay? And we're going to start stirring it up. Stirring it up. It's probably going to need more because I'm seasoning more apples. You know, the more apples you make, you got to adjust accordingly. Okay, so we put three spoons in there. Three wooden handle spoons in there. We're also going to put some cinnamon in here. Don't know how much I'm doing, but I'm shaking it in there. So I guess I'm still not measuring. I'm sorry, y'all. I don't know how to measure. I just basically go with what I feel. But you see how that is coming out nice and brown. Let me taste it a little bit and see if it's sweet enough. Mmm. Yeah, that's sweet enough for my taste. Because you know the apples are already sweet. And then when you cook the apples, guess what? It's going to bring out the natural sugars in there. So watch how much sugar you put in your food. And use brown sugar. Don't use white sugar. I use brown sugar. They say brown sugar is supposed to be a little bit better for your body. Okay, so here we go. Now, I'm going to put some nutmeg in. My husband's the one that turned me on a nutmeg. I'm going to put some nutmeg in. Let y'all see that. Don't put too much now because nutmeg is very strong. And you don't want the nutmeg to overpower everything else. And we're going to put in this expensive vanilla. Pure vanilla. Don't, don't use the imitation. Use the real stuff. Alright, so we're going to use a cap. Because I don't just pour this in because this stuff's expensive. I guess use about two catfuls. There you go. I don't just pour that in, sister. Now, this is really smelling good. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to let that cook down just a tad more. Then we're going to get out our pie crust. And we're going to fill it up, buttercup. We gonna, if you guys were here, I wish they had smell-o-vision here. Smell-o-vision? But honey, if you know it was cinnamon, nutmeg, vanilla, and brown sugar all smell like, do y'all know how that smells? You know it smells awesome. It smells awesome. Those, oh my gosh. This smells like a Thanksgiving day up in here. It really does. So I'm going to put a little more cinnamon um, a little more cinnamon in here, just a tad to, to help with some thines. If you follow me, you know what cinnamon does. And I'm gonna put a little more brown sugar in there for good measure. A little bit more brown sugar for good measure. Just a tad, just a tad. All right, let me put that away. 
way. Because you know sugar is sucking. Alright, you don't want to... I put a little bit of butter in here too, y'all. You know butter. I don't get the unsalted butter. I get the salted, so... It has a little salt in it. So, if you're going to use butter, make sure you, you know, you know, if you're going to use it heavily, get the unsalted, okay? Whoever's in there typing up that recipe, thank you so much. Because, <laughs> girl, I don't know what the heck I'm doing in this far as recipes. I just go, um, let me not call you whoever. Honey, Miss Stephanie, thank you. Because, honey, I don't do that. I'm going to screenshot what you said and use it. I just go by how it looks. You feel me? Hit that like button, y'all. Hit them hearts if you like the way this looks. Because I don't know how it looks to y'all. Hit that like button if you like the way it looks. Okay. So we're about to get my pan. I'm going to turn this off, y'all. I'm going to turn it off. So I think it's done. And I'm going to go... We're going to start thrusting it up. I can't do that. I can't eat all that. 
All right, so that's one. So you're just gonna basically fill one side because I'm making a apple turnover. This recipe actually was born because I wanted to make a pie, you know, like Marie Callender's pie. And I thought that this came with two pie crusts and it only comes with one. So when you buy this, Will, Will Walka, understand that it's only one pie crust in it. You may have to buy two. Do y'all think it needs more filling than that? Say more if you feel more filling, because remember, I got two. If you think it needs a little more filling, say more. If you think it's good, just say good. Okay. Put a little more cinnamon on here. It's good. All right, I see one good. Let me see at least three goods. All right, that's two. All right, that's two goods. All right. So YouTube, Facebook told me that this is enough. So we about to fold it on over. All right, so this is the fun part, honey. This is the fun part. We about to take a fork and we gonna pinch the ends. Hello, how are you? I hope you're doing fine. Okay. So we about to take a fork. Guys, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube because my husband and I, we're going to eat some Jamaican food that I made on live on YouTube. So make sure you go and subscribe. All right, so we're going to take the fork and we're just going to pinch the ends. No, this is not like store-bought. It's better than store-bought. Hello. Honey, I don't got to be neat. I wish somebody would tell me. This ain't neat enough. They, they ain't crazy. All right, so we gonna go ahead and just pinch that off. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little bit of butter on the outside. And what I'm gonna do, guys, is I'm gonna bake this. I'm gonna bake this. Um, for probably, I think, 20 minutes. Bake it for 20 minutes. Yeah, that's how you do that. Oh, bake it on, ooh, 375. Ooh, that part I don't know. Let me look at the pack. Let me see. Okay, 370, y'all. 370. You're going to actually do 370. All right, so I'm going to brush some cinnamon on the outside and see how that works. I'm going to do one with cinnamon and one with not and see how, the, how it tastes, all right? So let's do our second one. I'm going to put that to the side. Put that to the side. Let me pick this up. Ooh, this is actually softening up, y'all, okay? So, that's real though, not fake though. Okay. Guys, make sure you tap the screen to subscribe to our YouTube. If you have subscribed, type I uh, subscribe so I can say thank you. All right, so we got some by y'all request. I'm doing the second one, okay? And I'm going to put some butter on here, on here with my hands. And we're going to put the rest of the filling in this one. I'm going to put a little bit of cinnamon on here. I love cinnamon. Okay. This one's look, look, look. I shouldn't have listened to y'all. Look how full that one is. The other one looks like it's pixie like. This one is gordita. This is a gordita one. My husband don't like this one. 
This is apple filled, baby. Okay. So we're going to do the same thing. Take our fork. Thank you so much, guys, for watching me today. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube to catch our live eating videos. We usually eat our meals live. So if you like to see people eating home cooked meals, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube right now. Go ahead and do it. You ain't missing nothing. You already saw this part already. Okay. And there you go. I'm going to put a little bit of butter on the outside. basically for 20 minutes cook this for about 20 minutes on 370 of course you're not going to have the parchment paper in there let's see if two can fit in here i hope so that's one Thank you so much for watching, y'all. Have a great day.